Welcome back everyone, my name is Aircode. Today in this video, I am here to bring you the latest news and features for the update aquatic. We have been given the B version of the snapshot this week. This is 18W10B, which did introduce a couple of changes, but not as many as yesterday. Now I will do a brief overview of what we did get in this week's snapshots. We are expecting possibly one tomorrow being Thursday, and even one on Friday, because the developers themselves are going to GDC, which I believe is the game development conference. We might find out some information there for Dolphin. So let's get a single player snapshot 18W10B. They have made a change in this version to kind of make it very similar to the Bedrock version. And that change is to do with the Shulker Box. No longer is the Shulker Box default by purple. They've kind of classed this one as the Shulker Box itself. And they have introduced a purple variation of this. Now other changes according to the um, snapshot, it says they've added a non-dyed shulker box and made the purple shulker box purple. They have added dead variations for different corals. Now I did talk about this in yesterday's live stream. Basically all dead coral would default to, I think it might have been like this one. Something like that, but they have different colored ones. So we'll go with the blue one. This one is the pink. This is the dead coral, which is purple, red, and of course, yellow. Now, if you missed it yesterday, they did change the coral pieces um, slightly. They look a little bit more impressive. I'll show you guys the, the colorful version and of course the dead variation. Now, these coral pieces are yet to be implemented to terrain. So you're not going to find them in the warm biomes. You're definitely not going to find them in the cold locations as well. Uh, but I'll show you guys these anyway. I'm a big fan of the pink one. I don't know if you guys agree, but the pink one looks like a retextured version of, uh, what's it called, what's it called, Endstone. It just reminds me of Endstone. And as you can see here, as soon as I cut off the supply of water, the coral dies. Now, once the coral dies, you cannot change it back. Once the coral is dead, it is in fact dead. So the other changes listed in Snapshot B is to do with tropical fish sounds and also they've added more underwater ambient sounds. I will play it. I don't really notice much difference. Maybe you guys will notice a difference. Um, actually, I can hear a couple of sounds. So something I've been really impressed with is the ambient sounds under the water. They have been absolutely fantastic. Again, they did say they made changes to tropical fish. So let's spawn in a couple and see if we can hear anything. This just might be to do with their movement. It's nothing like huge in terms of changes. They're just minimal changes, but the overall ambience in the water is absolutely fantastic. And those are the changes for Snapshot B. We have different, are they more fish over there? They are. We have different sugar box for the purple one. So this is a default sugar box. This is a purple one. We had more ambience and tropical fish sounds, and also we had the introduction of dead coral variations. We're still yet to see these naturally generate in the world, but when they do, they are going to be absolutely fantastic. All right then, so because I didn't make a video yesterday, I did a live stream, I kind of want to recap on what they did add in the first snapshot, which was 18W10A. You can check out this the uh, video, the live stream on my channel if you want to, but they added buried treasure. Now, if I do forward slash locate real quick, we're going to locate an underwater ocean ruin. We're just going to go to this because we now have the chance of finding ourselves um, buried treasure. Now, of course, the first thing that you need here is you need a map. This is such a pain, this one. Maybe there's a better one nearby. Um, not really. Okay, so we'll find ourselves the chest. There should be a chest that naturally spawns within these. Took me a little bit of time to find them, but now in the ocean ruins, you have a chance of finding a treasure map, buried treasure map. Now, the cool thing about this, though, is for every underwater ocean ruin that you find, there is more treasure to be located, which is fantastic. Now, as you can see there, X marks the spot. It normally generates on a beach. Um, I kind of have a question here. I don't know if you guys know this, but does the treasure only generate once you access the the map or is it already pre-generated in the world 
That's kind of a question I'm kind of curious about. So I'm not going to go to where it is. I'm just going to use the forward slash locate command. So if I do forward slash locate, we can now locate the buried treasure. So if I click these coordinates, it's going to take me to the specific location that we need for X marks the spot. And as you can see, we've now loaded it in within the map. So you have to do some digging here. Make sure you're roughly on it and just do a little bit of digging. And if you're lucky, you will find the treasure chest in here. This is the only loot I've found apart from when I've done this in, in like gameplay time, like survival. I've come across TNT as well, but it's dominated by these kind of variations. Normally, I don't find cooked fish. Normally, it's been cooked salmon, but they are classing prismarine crystals as a rarity. So could this be used for making the trident? Because there is no survival trident uh, recipe as of yet. This could be the reason why this is in treasure chest, but time will tell. But that's what you get, things like that. So treasure, buried treasure. Of course, the maps, these can be lo located at underwater ruins. You're not always going to find them, and each map should take you to a new buried treasure. Oh yeah, by the way, you can get emeralds as well. So, I I've showed you guys already, but one of, the, one of the fantastic features they did introduce was the tropical fish. There's around about, I'm going to say there's around about 15 to 30 new fish, and they are absolutely brilliant. We do have Nemo, the only downside to... Having all these fish is no matter what happens when you kill them, they always drop um, Nemo. They always drop a clownfish. They're all a clownfish, which doesn't really make sense to me because they don't all look like this. Is that going to change? I really don't know, but they're fantastic. These will be found in the warm biomes. You're not going to find these in the cold locations. The way to locate a, a warm biome is just, of course, it's made out of sand. The colder ocean biomes are made out of gravel. Um, something else that you guys may have noticed is that the water is slightly changed as well. Depending on where you are in the world, in terms of a warm biome, the warm biome does give you kind of like a warm feel like this, where the water feels hot. That's kind of the, the best way I can explain it. And if you go to a cold biome, which you will in a second, it will, of course, feel slightly cold. I just want to see there's a treasure map inside of here. Uh, that one does not have a treasure map. There might be one inside of here. You gotta have a quick look. You gotta dig with this. There's a treasure map inside of there. Nope. There's th that the treasure that you find within the underwater ruins, they, that also might change. And there's nothing inside of there as well. So this one is a warm biome. Feels warm. Let's go to a colder biome and I'll show you what it looks like underwater. So we can actually make the transition change on video right now. This is a cold biome. Feels deep and cold and horrible. As we back up into a warm biome, you can see the changes. So F3, we're in a deep warm. Sorry, deep lukewarm ocean. Right now, we're in a cold biome, and the difference is absolutely phenomenal. Small changes like that make a massive difference. Now, if you guys are looking for something really unique, head to a swamp in the latest snapshot. The water is murky. It feels really yucky, but it's a, a really nice feel. And actually, lucky enough, in today's recording, I can actually show you exactly what that feels. So this one is the warm biome. And then we're going to head towards the swamp. And as you can see, everything goes kind of like Fallout. It feels like Fallout has entered the water. Now, this is much better than the Bedrock version because you can actually see. However, your visibility is massively reduced. But it's way better than previous. So, I love this update so, so much. Now, one of my favorite features within this update is to do with banners. Doesn't really matter what banner you have. We'll grab three different ones as a prime example. We'll also grab ourselves an anvil. And last but not least, we'll grab ourselves a map. And I'll show you something really fantastic. So originally, everyone thought banners were going to be used for kind of like beacons, locations, just to find on the map. So if I put this inside of here, I'm going to rename this one as home. So we got home. I'm going to rename this as, for a prime example, it would be like XP farm. And last but not least, we're going to name this as friends house. So if we do friends house. Okay, so what you need to do here, maybe this is our home location. We have a map, generate the map in. If I right click on this banner, you are now going to see that it displays your home location. Maybe this island over here, this small, small swamp island is going to be where the XP farm is. Place down the banner, right click on it, it now locates your home, your XP farm. And last but not least, if we were to maybe over here turn this into your friend's house. Put this down, right click on the map, and as you can see there, absolutely brilliant. I love this feature. It is a really, really good feature. One of the greatest changes that they did do. So, the last one that you guys are going to like is to do with the Phantom. 
I'm impressed with this one. They retextured the Phantom. It now seems like a, a more deadly kind of mob. Along with them retexturing it, guys, they made the Phantom only spawn at nighttime. It will no longer, like, if it's daytime, it should disappear. But I'll spawn in a couple of them. They changed the behavior. They changed how they work. They, they seem more like a night dweller now. So that's a really, really good change. And you can see there, that he looked really cool there. So the Phantom has changed. So I love it. I'm 10 out of 10 with this update. I, I think it's possibly, if not one of my favorite, if not my favorite update that they have introduced to the game. So just to run through the changes one more time, they added buried treasure, they added tropical fish, they added underwater sounds and ambience, which I briefly showed you. The ability to put markers on maps, they added coral plants, which I haven't showed you, so I'm, I'm terrible, I apologize. They did add these as well. Uh, coral plants. These, by the way, they don't die because if you try and cut off the water supply with this, and I'll show you exactly what I mean right here. So you can put these anywhere. Maybe I put this uh, right there. If I cut off the water supply with this, it just pops up as if like you broke the item itself. So we'll cut off the water supply. As you can see, it just drops over there. But let me go to the ocean and show you what this looks like because I want to show you within a warm biome itself. Not so much in, in murky waters where you can't see anything at all. So again, gravel is classed as the cold locations. Uh, we'll go over here. This is going to be classed as kind of like a, a warm location. So this is what they look like. we got the blue. We have the pink. I like the pink. I would rather have seen more pink variations. What I mean is I'd rather this be like blue and yellow and stuff like that. We have the purple one, which I kind of like as well. The red coral. We also have the yellow one. These are yet to generate within worlds. Again, same with the coral blocks. They don't generate at all. Uh, they made changes to the phantom model and texture and its behavior. They also made underwater visibility now change per biome, which I did show you as a prime example. So if you guys did learn something new, you do enjoy me going over all the snapshots that they are introducing, please be kind enough to hit that like button because it really does help. Have a great day, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!